proprietary supplements from Volterran for healthy joints. Homeowners, if you want to sell your house fast for all cash, stop what you're doing and watch this because Osborne Homes wants to buy your house right now. I'm Alec from Osborne Homes and we want to buy your house. Nobody buys more homes in California than Osborne. Whether it's a total fixture upper or in perfect condition, Osborne Homes is the easiest way to sell your house fast all cash. Best of all, when you sell your house to Osborne Homes, there are zero commissions, zero fees, plus no banks, no realtors, no repairs, and no way to close. We buy your house as is, all cash. Just go to OsborneHomes.com right now for your free, no obligation, all cash offer. We are here ready to buy your house 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So go to OsborneHomes.com right now. Don't wait. Sell your house to Osborne Homes and put the cash in your pocket right away. Any house, any condition, all cash right now. Just go to OsborneHomes.com or call us today at 800-895-5649. Go to OsborneHomes.com. Alex Piston, next weather, weekdays, KCAL News Mornings. This is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, March 2nd. I'm Rachel Kim. I'm Tina Patel in for Sheba Turk. Welcome to KCAL News at 9 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Let's start this sudden Saturday off. I'm trying to change the day. Uh, I'm just thrown <laughs> off because Marina is in here and we've got all this rain to talk about. <laughs> yes, we do. And we are tapping into our next system, which, of course, is this huge cold low that's off the coast of Washington right now. And this is the coldest so far this season. So because of that, Snow levels will drop from 5,500 to 3,500 today. So wanted to give you a heads up just in case you're traveling on the grapevine later on this evening. We could see a dusting to an inch of snowfall there. But we'll get rain off and on the Southland throughout the entire day today. Doesn't mean everyone's going to see it all the time, all day, but it will be off and on. So you want to make sure you're prepared. Throw an umbrella in the back seat. We'll be looking at rain right now, especially throughout the 10, I mean, excuse me, the 5 and the 210, all the way from San Fernando, Santa Clarita, heading into Glendale, Pasadena. Moving Moving towards Sierra Madre, we've also got some heavier bouts of rain from Torrance. Moving into Downey and Lakewood, and this is all heading into La Habra and El Monte. And then, of course, we have been looking at this heavy rain for two hours across portions of the San Bernardino Mountains. I'll break down all the watches and warnings that are issued right now coming up. All right, Marina, thank you. Well, the new rain brings the risks of more mud and rock slides in vulnerable areas of Southern California. L.A. County has already shut down Malibu Canyon Road to protect drivers from that possibility. KCAL News reporter Elise Martinez looks at that closure and other possible trouble spots. Malibu Canyon Road is closed through the weekend as a precaution. Mudslides will be a concern for Malibu and other parts of L.A. County again this weekend as the rain moves in. The closure affects a nearly five-mile stretch of the busy road between PCH and Payuma Road. Pepperdine University says its campus will stay open. Now this all comes after part of the road was closed for nearly a week after a massive mudslide came down during recent storms. The new closure already interrupting some weekend plans for a lot of people. Almost 300 kids in Malibu Little League. So do 300 kids plus uh, parents, 600 parents, right? Like almost 1,000 people will be affected maybe by the road closure. Geologists say the ground is still saturated from the last round of rain. It takes a while to percolate down and, and seep out of the slopes. Uh, this is why you see rock slides sometimes, you know, several days after the heavy rain passed. Malibu is just one place keeping an eye on the forecast. From SkyCal, this is what you see in now many hillsides, dozens of homes in Baldwin Hills with tarps in their backyards. Rancho Palos Verdes also on edge as an active landslide there has seen more movement during those storms. And this road will remain closed until Monday at 6 a.m. In Malibu, Elise Martinez, KCAL News. Meanwhile, up north, Yosemite National Park will be closed because of a monster blizzard slamming the Sierra Mountains. This will be the coldest and snowiest storm of the season so far, with up to 10 feet of snow expected in higher elevation areas. I'm about to go home and not leave for the next couple days. <laughs> Officials are advising drivers to avoid traveling on the roadways as the heavy snow is creating whiteout conditions. The storm is expected to 